everybody, Mountain Grandma here. Today I am launching my 2022 Christmas gifting collaboration. I did this last year. I'm running a little behind this year, so I hope some of my friends out there will join me, especially my crafting friends. Come on, I want to see what you guys gift. I love making things for gifts. And the gift that I'm working on is a gift for the winner of the Christmas giveaway that we did recently that was ho hosted and co-hosted by Ariel Viking Victual Adventure and um, also Gail, Gail Southern Living. So I have made for the person who won that, made three different um, room sprays here that I'm gonna be sending off to the winner of that, and I hope she likes them. I've made um, one called Christmas Tree, one called Christmas Candy, and another called Spice Cider. So, hoping she likes those. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you how I made these, but I'm gonna be calling out some of my crafting friends to join me at the end of this video. There are a lot of different bottles you can use to make room sprays. You can get the really big ones with the hand pumps on them. You can get these little two ounce ones with the little, you know, push top on it. I like these little ones. Works great for what I have. For I'm gonna share the basics for how I mix mine together and share some blends with you for Christmas. So let's get started with that. Okay, to get started, you're gonna to wanna to put your drops of essential oil in the bottle first. And I like to do that at a high concentration. Depending on the scent and how robust it is, I might go anywhere from 5-10%, somewhere in there. The first blend I'm going to do is my Christmas tree blend. And I'm going to be using, um, you'll start with 4 drops of cypress and 4 drops of fir needle. And I'm going to put 4 drops of wintergreen in there just to give this fresh sweet scent to it. And um, 3 drops of cedarwood. Now mind you, that's what I'm going to start with, and then if I, if I confirm that I like it, then what I would do next is go ahead and make sure that that's like 5 to 10% of however much I'm using. blend here and it's ready to use. I did leave it to set, came back and smelled it, and it's good. This next scent is Spice Cider. I'm going to be using clove oil nutmeg oil and the cinnamon bark again. I'll be doing equal amounts of each so I'm going to put six drops of each in this bottle.
So now, here I've got my three spray bottles. This makes an awesome gift to give to someone. We've got a pine scent. We have, well, it's not pine. Remember, I didn't have pine. But we have a Christmas tree scent. We have a Christmas candy scent. We have a spice cider scent. So a lot of options to gift to someone. And I think just giving them all three together makes for an adorable gift. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this. The next step is going to be try to make these guys pretty and uh, get them in a package and get them in the mail. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is a collaboration. Friends, join me. There are some great crafters and the most creative people out there. I would love to see some gifting ideas. It could be food, it could be canned goods, it could be paper crafting, painting, um, crochet, whatever you guys do. I'd love to see what you're giving this year. I love to receive handmade gifts and um, I know a lot of us send handmade gifts to folks. So share what you got going on. I'd especially like to call out Gail's Crafts and Coupons and Looky Looky Loo Crafts. Um, Blue Feather Homestead, Sammy, let's see what you've got going on over there. Melody Made, I would love to see what you have going on. And um, our new friend, Jamie's Country Living, um, I hope you all will join me. And Merry Christmas to everybody. Keep your joy this season, folks. See you in the next one.